here we are in um, Tallai. I got called early this morning, oh, an hour ago, for a carpet python in the front. Now, um, this guy seemed to have a fair lump of attitude, I don't know why, but um, he, when I said, look, you know, you're aware there's a call out fee, he kind of got grumpy at me and said, you've been here before? I think, well, I don't know that. <laughs> but, and then I said, when he said that it's a carpet python laying at the front, I questioned him and said, you sure it's not run over? Because it's unusual the carpet python lays out in the open, especially just on a footpath out, out in the street. And he goes, meters, I'm bloody positive. Anyway, so um, we've now driven for an hour. And just now, he called and said, don't worry about it, it's gone. I said, mate, it's call out fee. And he goes, no, there's no snake. I said, well, if there's a snake and it's just moved, it won't have moved far and we will find it, no worries. And he went, see ya. So I have a feeling this could be a person that's gonna be hard to deal with. The good old public, that's the hardest part of my job, dealing with people. <coughs> People don't understand, besides the fact it's an hour out of our time and our money to drive here, it's also I've had, like, I had people to turn up, employees to do stuff. I remember this house. I had people to do stuff for me. Like moving house? And uh, I had to ring a cow for them. So he's in here, is he? What was that, sorry? Oh, so he hasn't gone? I didn't think so. Oh, yeah. So I knew he wouldn't have gone far this time of the year. A nocturnal snake. Said it either. That's why. I mean, if it was out here, that's why I question whether it'd been run over or not. It was out here this morning. Yeah. Earlier. There's a bag bloke on. Is someone going? You got a bag there, Brooke and Jensen? No. You haven't. So where's the little bag boy? He hasn't got a bag with me. Yeah, that's it, buddy. You found it? You all over it? Look, he has been clipped by a car. Yep. His uh, nose is something really bad has happened to his nose. That's an old, old injury. He's got bones poking out. You can hold this, I'm going to live feed that for the page. Ow. Uh, Mother Nature is unbelievable with the way snakes can get injuries and continue on. Yeah, Some no, of the stuff he's... Oh, the rest of his body's okay, but that's old bones and stuff sticking out. And he's having difficulty breathing as well. Yeah. There's not a lot we can do, I don't think. I think it's an old injury. Yeah. Well this to... His tongue come out the side then. That's a good idea. Hang on a sec, buddy. <sighs> Sorry, I'm taking it long. Hey. All right, here's our third call for today. There's a carpet python in Tallai. Nothing too exciting, except for when you look at his face here. I don't know if you can see it. He's got an old injury. And it's taken out a large chunk of his skull at the top. He's actually got bone poking out of the injury there. And he's having difficulty breathing. That's why he's opening his mouth to take a breath. Especially the big snake man's holding onto it. Got a little bit of a mouth flop at the bottom there. Mother Nature, you look at it, this and you think this is freaking horrendous. And Mother Nature is amazing with some of the injuries that the reptiles get. And they soldier on and continue on. See this side looks pretty normal. But this also could be what, what this could be from is when they grab a rat, um, if they grab it the wrong way, the rat, yet rats can take a chunk out of them. 
and this would be, you know, maybe he's grabbed a feed that was too big for him, a possum or something, and it's just ripped, ripped a chunk out of his face. It's one of the reasons you shouldn't be life feeding if you have a pet snake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can see the top jaw is pretty mangled. I don't know. He looks pretty healthy otherwise. He's yeah, actually got a okay. belly. He's got a belly full now, so he's doing it. He's surviving. But anyway, that's enough for him. Are right, you ready, champ? He's going to break my arm if I leave it any longer. What do you do with him? Um, if this was a fresh injury, we'd run him to the vets. But I don't know. What does that look like under there? Well, it looks like a bit of an infection. <coughs> yeah, it's probably something that should be looked at before he gets released. I mean, his tongue's going they, they fast. Take, take him down to Burley and let it go. Uh, Remember? No. no, I'd probably get that looked at from no, the vet. We might have to run. Everything is fine except for the, what's in his mouth there. On the way home, we'll stop at Coomera at um, the, the vet, vet lounge. lounge. Michael Woodcock is a, ret, a vet. What do you call it? A reptile specialist. You can see how tight he was in my arm. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying, get rid of him before it breaks my arm. You're just weak. Look at that. I'm blue. <laughs>